So we've got a real treat for you. I am out here at Smithberry Barn and I'm with Joelle and Rich and we are gonna be grilling figs. Now, before we jump into this recipe, Joelle, I noticed that you have a couple different platters of figs here and they're different colors. Tell me why that is. Exactly, so they're actually at different stages of ripeness. Okay. They're, these are a little bit underripe, which are still perfectly fine to pick and they would taste very good, um, but we actually love them when they're in this kind of ugly stage, yeah. which they're at their sweetest, they're a little bit mushy and look a little less so than perfect. So could, then could I jump to this idea that if you pick them this way, that's even better for the grilling part as well? Exactly. Okay. They'll hold up a little bit better on the grill. Nice. They won't completely fall apart. So yes, we're going to be using them today more in this state. And what is this recipe? Because it looks pretty simplistic. It's very easy. We're doing a um, feta cheese with a little bit of rosemary on top. Nice. And we're going to grill them and then drizzle with a little bit of honey. So what is the first step in preparing this? The first step is cutting them in half. And so we are simply slicing. They're just, they're beautiful. <laughs> in half. We need to put a little bit of olive oil on the outside skin so that they don't get stuck to the grill. Okay. So we'll do that. And while you finish that up, I'm going to ask you, what is the temperature set on in the grill? How so we're doing do medium it? high. We don't want it too high because they'll sear and then I've already seasoned it with the olive oil so they don't stick as well. And I do actually on a grilling pan, uh -huh. uh, like a vegetable tray, as opposed to straight on the barbecue grill. So that really through. holds them better so yeah, they don't fall Yeah, and it's through. smaller pore space so it doesn't fall Wonderful. through to the coals. Now, it looks like you're adding what kind of cheese? So we're doing a little bit of crumbled feta. Nice. And you're really not cramming it in there, you're just gently laying it just on the Just laying fin. it on top, hoping that it stays. When we transfer to the grill and then transfer it again off, we might lose a little bit, but... But that's okay. That is okay. And then the other thing that we're going to be doing before we grill is we'll be putting the rosemary on. So I have some fresh rosemary. And I, I know you're gonna chop this on, but tell me about those scissors. Those are so cool. So these are some herb scissors and basically they're multi-sheared uh, <laughs> bladed scissors and they make it very handy for just doing quick little. <laughs> wow. I mean, if you do a lot of grilling with fresh herbs, that, you've got to have a pair of those. I love these. <laughs> I use them all the time. They're great for basil. You can make your chiffonade with them. Very clever. Now, once that has been put on, what, what's left before the grill then? So we're going to go for it. This okay. is ready for grilling. So I'm going to pass them over. I'm going to get out of your way. And actually, you don't even need the yeah, tongs for that. You can tongue. stick them right on there. And then how long are we going to leave these on? Uh, these are going to go like five to seven minutes. Since they're, since they're a little firmer, they might take up to seven, but we'll kind of gauge them as we go. Good. All right. We're, well, we just don't want to sear them black. We'll uh, take a little break here and wait for those to cook. Well, I have to say those look absolutely delicious. Now, Rich, how long were these in? Uh, between seven and eight minutes. Okay. And what is the finishing up now? So Joelle? the finishing is going to be a, a honey drizzle. And that's just honey. Nothing's been done this to it, right? Just plain farm raw well, that honey. Looks absolutely delicious. They're, the figs are really sweet themselves. They really don't need the honey, but we love to add it. It's and of course. so tasty. And what kind of salt? Is that so what that is? This is salt. This is a. Um, Himalayan pink sea salt, just enough to give it a little bit of, you know, the zesty and the sweet together. Yeah. And then that that's really it, isn't it? This is it. You need well, to let it cool just a little bit. Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so you know what I love is that almost everything at this table can be purchased right out here at Smithberry Barn, so I adore that fact. And you can also just go to gardentime.tv. We click you over to their website, and you can find this very simple recipe to wow all of your family and friends this summer on the barbecue grill. Thank you so much, Joelle. Thank you, Rich. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thanks.